The one thing that unites us is that the just transition is the overarching framework that guides us. And in that framework, we want to see an equitable sharing of risks with targeted support to those that are most at risk. And that's got to include, and a, a number of important issues have been raised, skills, human health, economic diversification, social support, energy access, and poverty. There's also a procedural component to the just transition, and consultation is a prerequisite to, to whatever we do, and we've got to enable participation by those most affected in the decisions and in the implementation of this transition. And just while we're on this issue of just transition, there's also a global dimension, and it got you know, quite crisply raised in this morning's discussion, uh, and particularly this balance between developed and developing countries, and forcing those that have caused the climate crisis to pay for it and making sure that those who've done least to cause this crisis don't carry the burden. And the other element, which has been like a theme running through this whole discussion, is what I would call intergenerational equity. And we've uh, had some, I mean, some of the most articulate voices in this discussion have been those of young people who say, don't saddle future generations um, either with the climate problem. So, you know, don't devastate the climate today and make us live in a world that we can't function in. But also don't take on unsustainable levels of debt that we as a future generation then have to pay off. And I was very struck by, you know, Minister Creasy's framing of the energy trilemma, these sort of three prongs that we use as the foundation for decision-making around energy. And that's the importance of energy security. I think it's fundamental. The importance of equity, and, you know, I would include in that affordability, least cost, and the importance of sustainability. And I like the interpretation she gave it of both social and environmental sustainability. Um, and in addition to this trilemma, I think we're all agreed that the immediate crisis we're facing um, has to be our overriding focus. And that's because in, you know, in this crisis, we are destroying businesses, we're destroying small businesses in particular, they've been very hard hit, and it's the poor you know, who are not able, like the middle class, to go and get uh, inverters and batteries and, and opt out of the ESCOM system. So it's poor people that carry this uh, energy crisis the hardest. And, you know, maybe, you know, starting at the biggest level, the National Development Plan, which frames the just transition that we all committed to, which frames the just energy transition, um, and in turn, you know, which informs decisions around the integrated energy plan, and I think we all accept that we need such a plan, uh, which informs the integrated resource plan, which in turn informs ESCOM's transmission development plan. So, you know, this idea of nested plans that, that all talk to each other. 